guys, so I'm here about to change the transmission fluid in my 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, so first, what you're going to need is a filter, which I got my filter, transmission fluid, and you're going to need some pump to pump the transmission fluid in. Uh, so I just got started, and I just realized I could make a video out of this, so... I jacked the car up, put on jack stands, have the jack still up there just for, just, just to be more safe. Um, I first took off this little skid plate from here, and then here's my transmission um, thing. Honestly, don't really know what it is, but what it's called. But here's the drain plug. I'm going to loosen this and then have it all drain out. And then what we're gonna have to do is unscrew all these bolts, take off this pan, and then take off the filter, and then put the filter in, and then put this back on, and then pump it full of the transmission fluid in here. And then I'll try and do it step by step, but no promises, because I kind of just get carried away doing my own thing. Um, but first, let's get this transmission fluid all drained out um obviously you're gonna need something to drain it into so i got my little uh draining thing and then you're gonna need a t30 allen wrench to get the little fill cap out of the drain plug and then for the drain plug i think it's also um honestly i don't know i'll actually try to figure that out now okay first before I do this and get my gloves all dirty and I can't record anymore. I loosen this nut, it started dripping, so I tightened it so I could come grab my phone. I'll loosen that and then I'll then it'll start draining, right? And then I'll take this off and then that is the fill cap and then it'll start draining a lot more. And then I will take out the filler plug that'll be inside the plug all right so i've done most of the work um i drained it i took this out and then i took the pan out which is laying here which i already cleaned out and it will have two magnets and i just cleaned out the whole pan cleaned off these magnets because it'll catch all little uh little metal shavings that'll come through your filter and you want that to catch you want those magnets in there um but yeah i had i took the pan off and then the filter is in the trash right now but the filter will be sitting right here with three little bolts one right there one right there and then one right there and just take that out and make sure you still have this next to you because there is still obviously fluid in the filter um but i kind of made it bad. i want to say like a bad decision but i got the wrong filter so the one that i bought is like flat and metal and then the one that i just pulled out of the car is this and it the bolt patterns and everything don't match up so i'm kind of screwed for now um i'm going to first i'm going to pour this all the transmission fluid that i just drained into this valvoline oil tank because it has a marker of how much i will need so that's pretty important because you need to know how much wh however much you take out is the same amount that you need to put put in because you don't want to put in too much and obviously you don't want anything less but i'm gonna do that because i don't i only have two quarts and it looks like i have like four or five so it's not gonna work but i need to take pictures of this filter to get the right one because i need to return that it's not the right one so i'm kind of at a standstill right now so i need to go get a filter and then we can uh pump it back full okay so got the wrong filter <laughs> these are for the filter this is for 
this. This is for the drain plug. This is for the filler. That's for the pan. And that's it. All right, so it's the next day and it's raining if you can't hear. Um, but I got the correct filter. It's a rain transmission, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if the just the part is from rain, but this is what I needed right here. And it's going to sit up in there, something like that. So I'll put my phone down here and then record to show y'all what I'm doing. So let's get to it. Hopefully you guys can see it here. Um, actually, let's do it right here. Well, I don't want my phone in fucking transmission fluid. We'll just do it right here. So grab the filter. It's going to go in like so. Make sure your bolt patterns match up. Put it in there. Get your bolts. Hand tighten them first. Oh shit. Want to hand tighten them. Then come back later with your. I feel like this has to. Alright, yep, push it up in there. Make sure it catches it. It'll have an O ring on the. I was trying to record what I was doing, but my phone just stopped recording because I didn't have storage. Anyways, I put in the filter, put on the transmission pan, and then I pumped five quarts full of transmission fluid and you're going to need something like this put this in the in the little uh tub in the little tub and press that and then it'll come through here and you'll want to put that in your fill plug which will be right here and then pump it full and then once you have it full once you put in the same amount of transmission fluid that you took out you'll start the car make sure it gets warm go through all the gears for five seconds so you'll be in park let it run for five seconds go to reverse five seconds neutral five seconds drive five seconds and then just do that three separate times and then you should be good to go so i already did that and now all i have to do is put my skid plate back on and then clean up my mess so this one's complete almost like i said i gotta do this little miscellaneous stuff but that's nothing big um but yeah i wasn't really planning on making a tutorial video which this is like the worst tutorial video probably ever but hey i got the job done and now it's about time to take it for a drive and see how it shifts